refrigerator dill pickles that will go in a quart jar that I moved somewhere. Okay. Quart jar. So each one of these recipes makes a quart jar. So if you don't want to make a ton of pickles and you just want a jar or two, then divide the recipe by a jar. So we have a small saucepan here that has a heavy bottom and we're going to add one cup of water. And then we're going to add one cup of my favorite distilled white vinegar. I'm going to add three teaspoons of Himalayan salt that's um, ground up. And then since we use monk fruit instead of sugar, I'm going to add monk fruit, but you can add sugar if you want to. And this is half a teaspoon. And I'm just going to burn it. Burn it. I'm trying not to burn it. I'm just going to put it on the stove on medium low heat until it dissolves. And that's all you need to do with this stuff. So I have the brine cooking on the stove and it, well, it's cooling off right now. And we are going to add one teaspoon of mustard seeds to a jar, half a teaspoon of black pepper, peppercorns, and then about four-ish, there might be, yeah, there's about four-ish <laughs> crushed um, garlic cloves. So I peeled them and then I just put my knife on them and smashed them and then I dropped those in there. And I'm going to fill this up and I'm really OCD so I want them to look pretty and all the things. Just tuck that one in there. We have one piece left there. So this is what it looks like without any liquid in it. And then I have these fresh deal. It's kind of a big deal. So I'm just going to snip off a couple of the little flower buds and put them in the jar. Okay, you don't have to use a jar funnel, but since I have one, I'm going to use it. And I'm going to pour the liquid on it. I did use pink Himalayan salt, so it's going to have a little bit of a pink tint. Tint? I'm going to make sure that the liquid goes above the pickle line. Okay, this jar of pickles will go into the fridge for at least a week before you want to start eating them, but they will stay fresh for months. So if you don't want to water bath your pickles and just want to have your refrigerator pickles, this is a great way to try out making your own. This is a grape leaf from our grapevines outside that helps them stay crunchier. These are huge half gallon jars. And down in our garage, we have an empty fridge that we use for our harvest season items. And these are going to go into that garage for the next couple months, into that fridge for the next couple months.